It's really cool about the, the Krunts from Series 1. You can take off their methane tank shell. And this green one, if you get him kind of like this and he's on his back, he kind of reminds me of like a turtle. It's kind of kind of funny. It's like, the turtle can't get up. Hey guys, Rich here with another Halo 3 action figure review. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing the, well, I guess it's supposed to be the green grunt, but it's really the grunt heavy from Halo 3. And even though this grunt heavy here comes with a plasma rifle, a plasma rifle, plasma pistol, and a needler, uh, in the video game, uh, if you ever saw like a grunt heavy, they were usually um, carrying something, like a, one of those mobile turrets, or they were carrying fuel rod cannons a lot. Those are what I'm really remembering them for. So, um, but, you know, this came back out in Series 1, so the paint job on him is really, really good. Uh, it comes with, like I said, the plasma pistol, uh, which fits in his hands and it is easily removed. Unlike some figures, like the jackals, very hard to get the plasma pistols out of their hands, and the plasma pistol ends up getting really damaged. Uh, he also comes with a needler, which can easily just fit into his hand. There you go. Boom. And the needler, like I've said in some other reviews, the needler is a very... Uh, incredibly rare weapon this size needler because they made a new needler for Halo Reach and it's bigger but the Halo 3 needlers are very rare because they only came with three figures or they ever were with three figures the green grunt or grunt heavy the grunt minor which was the orange grunt and it also came with a pale EVA which came out in later series and that's like it uh, I think there was also another figure that had an active camo needler but I don't really count those because they're active camo and I can't use them with like figures not active camo so you know it also comes with two of these weapon pegs, these little black things, if you don't know what those are. Uh, the only thing that kind of stinks, though, is with the grunt, is there is no peg holes on them anywhere. And I tried, actually, and, and you could do it, too, if you want. You can um, try to put the plasma pistol into the shell, the methane tank, and then kind of pop it on his back. And it sort of fits, and I bet if you played with it, you could kind of get it. So, I don't know, for any of you people out there who like to play with them or something, or use them in a stop motion, that would be something you might be able to use as a possible scenario. Uh, when you first get the grunt here, he actually comes with, it might be a little difficult to see, but you'll see in a second, the uh, elastic band wrapped around their head, so that way the mask doesn't pop off uh, while they're being shipped. Because then it would be like, oh, mommy, it's so ugly! Because the mask would be off, and then you'd see this. <laughs> yeah, they're so ugly. So yes, the, the mask is removable, the shell is removable, like uh, how you could shoot them off in Halo 3. So you kind of see a little bit about the figure without that. They painted the figure with like a chrome green type of color. It ended up looking really good. It's, it's I guess it, it looks military like. I mean, it, it's not like a flat green. It looks more like, you know, it's actually maybe armor. Yes, it doesn't look exactly real, but you know what I mean. The only thing I would probably like for the grunt to be included with, or to be included with the grunt, would be like a plasma grenade. But back when C Series One came out, uh, they did not have plasma grenades yet. So you know, but it's a very rare figure, very very rare. This grunt and the grunt miner, the orange one, are both incredibly rare and incredibly valuable to anybody's collection, or if you're like reselling it. So it's up to you if you want to open it out of a box um, and everything. But you know, I personally like to keep my stuff opened. So. Uh, as far as articulation goes, the grunt has a place at the top of the neck where his head rotates, although it's not really doing it at the second. Then he also has a double joint at the base of the neck. Not a lot of waist articulation. Shoulder can go up and down, um, can rotate at the bicep. Elbow goes in and out a bit. Uh, at the hip, you can go up and down, and you can rotate it a bit with, like, if you grab up here and rotate it. But, you know, and then it also rotates uh, at the top of the leg the knee, and a little bit at the foot. Now, something I like to say with all the grunts is be very careful when doing any type of movement. Uh, basically, all of my grunts are good at something. Like uh, my grunt miner, for example. Uh, his right leg isn't as good, or his left leg isn't as good, but his right leg is really good. So see, like right now, he can use his knee on uh, for this figure. His right leg is fine. Basically, everything works perfectly. Uh, but then you come over here to this knee, and it's not working. I mean, that's all I get, that little bit of movement out of it. That's it. So when you first open a grunt, if you open a grunt, or if you get it used or something like that, you get it as a trade, a gift, whatever, uh, be careful when you first get it. Learn the problems with the figure. And f the reason that there's problems with this, these types of figures, and they break, I'm going to give it a three, like I did with the grunt miner, because 
it's a big problem. I mean, you spend all this money getting a figure. Even if you got it in the store and you paid, what, $11, $12 in the store, right? If you live in the U.S., I know it's a lot more, you know, all over the place, like Australia and uh, Britain. But if you even pay retail, right, you pay just flat retail. No shipping, no, no extra charges because it's being sold for more. And then the figure breaks. It's a real big problem. And thankfully, McFarlane has done a lot better job with the Halo Reach series. And, uh, for example, the Halo Reach Ultra, uh, Grunt Ultra, very good figure much better than these previous grunts. Like every joint on them moves, they can stand much better and everything and uh, I'm sure when the grunt miner comes out for Halo Reach it's going to be great from Series 2. But anyway, overall I'll give this figure 3 out of 5. I love the paint job. I like. I really recommend it because it's rare. It comes with a needler which is great because I didn't have a needler for a long time. Um, I don't know how long I've been collecting? Like a little over two years and I just got him recently not too long ago so i didn't have a needler until then so that, that's how long i've been waiting but anyway guys thank you very much for watching comments or questions post that down below and um yeah all right talk to you guys talk to you guys later i'm gonna go see if he can float in a fishbowl tank you know because he's kind of like a turtle well actually i'll take off his shell and he's a naked turtle so yeah